No, nah, unless you got some October got supporters in the chat. I mean, you just need to be out man. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be uh, an interesting one. You've got uh, the the new school versus the old cool. It's gonna be Ronald versus Frost here, and Ronald, one of the people, actually, I believe the uh, founder of the Jer. Yes, the father. The of the yeah, and Frost, the person who's been using it to find success here. So this is gonna be an interesting one to say the least. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun to watch unfold. I mean, one of the most prominent roles that we've been seeing shape up in our state versus, like you said, the father of the Jer. Right, you this know, Ronald's is, uh... been a proficient Roy for just a hot minute. Meanwhile, we see Frost, in my opinion, having one of the hottest come-ups I've seen in the scene in a while. So I'm really excited yeah. to see both of these two go at it right now. Now, this is, this is a meteoric riser in Frost versus uh, the legacy Roy made in Ronald, but uh, this is going to be... I, I believe that's Ronald going up right now after the uh, miscue offstage from Frost. Uh, yeah, well, actually, no, uh, the player icon seems to show that it's Frost, actually, on that red icon, that oh. player one. Very interesting. Yeah. The Roy player, though, you're not wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ronald yeah I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Because that is, that, is, that is Frost in the bottom left. Yeah. yeah I don't think I'm tripping. I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I got. I know what's going on. Yeah, I want to... Okay. Okay. Be, not, be not too uh, distracted. We got Ronald already losing his stock and Frost making quite the comeback. Very true. Yeah, he's definitely making some big moves already. Making it already look like it was a tie. Kind of just making it look like it never even happened. And landing that namesake right there. That Jared to close out stock number two and bring down Frost to the final stock of this game. That's right, yeah, man. That's right there. There's something you gotta realize game. about Frost. Uh, in their in their game plan, Frost is a very defensive boy. That's why we see him up for uh, Krom more so than we do the Roy generally. Um, so when they're at a deficit, I don't think they get shaken too much. They they know their co confirms uh, that Ronald actually invented, obviously. But they know what they need to do in order to get back into any match. I have no hesitations in thinking that I believe we're going to be seeing Frost bring it to an even soccer game very shortly. Yeah, I, w I would be inclined to agree on that. There you go, I'm late to the party, but I agree too. Because <laughs> it already happened right now. This is like, With two Roy's, these stocks just go flying left and right. Meanwhile, we got Ronald trying to pile on this lead, looking for that namesake right there at the ledge. Not going to get it quite yet. Frost evading danger. Yeah, narrowly avoiding that. Still keeping themselves in on this last box. Going to be applying some pressure onto each other's shields, but still no huge hits just yet. We got our jab in the back here, however, and that just about closes it out. Ronald with a pretty healthy one stock lead is going to take the game off. As you saw right there, Frost is getting stuck on that platform, giving him a really hard pos like position. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ronald's definitely taking advantage of that, and he was able to get that Jer in, as you see right here. Just getting on that platform and not really being able to use going for walk off fair or dash off fair just didn't quite get it, so he got stuck up there, and Ronald being well knowing of how to take advantage of that managed to do just that. Yeah, yeah frame trapped on that landing too. Uh, the, the back air ended up whipping from Ronald, but uh, it doesn't matter. He had the Jair ready and prepared to catch that uh, in place option before Frost could even escape. That's going to be the Jair to close out that game. We're going to game two. I can't imagine we're going to be seeing too much of a very or a variation or a deviation uh, from what we're used to here. Uh, but Ronald is up 1-0 in the set count. So, uh, Frost, balls in your court, mate. What you got for us? He's going to need to bring this back. Make sure that, you know, and honestly, with the ditto and any ditto, it's kind of like there's, there's a lot of factors that come into it that make it kind of hard to ground yourself. So we'll see how they do that. But both of them, Ronald just needs to maintain the way he was playing. Frost gonna need to try stepping it up. But be like something to remember, he did SD last game. Oh yeah. And as we yes. see right there, he already took Ronald's first stock off. You gotta wonder if Frost manages to play very clean this whole game, he might just take it very quickly and turn it into his oh, favor man. as he counters that ledge. Oh my god, yeah, I don't know what happened to Frost in between games. He must have chunked three things of Red Bull and slammed his head against the wall. Because he's playing like an absolute maniac right now, taking that stock nearly with a Jer. And um really going off the beat, man. Yeah, the ledge trapping there was so so good. Added for so much percentage. And right now Ronald 
barely holding on to their second stock. Yeah, still both of them are hanging on. It all it's again it's one of those situations where it almost looks like an even a game until you look down at that stock count, but right now it is gonna be an even stock count, but that percent might not be even for long. That is true, the 123 on Ronald, he's very high in percents. One just solid hit from Frost is gonna take it, but Ronald's gonna need to get something started, and it seems like he almost did. Frost though, quick to react to his landing with that F tilt, he's gonna take it and build upon his lead. That's right, still catching up on entrance. He recognized right where uh, Ronald was going to be there. Uh, which is what Ronald actually was getting a lot of his kill options off of last game. And, and now the apprentice has become the master in Frost. It's true, he's kind of just like starting to show his stuff now. Now that he's uh, up a stop, he's still applying a lot of pressure onto Ronald. Getting caught on a lot for aerials and landing options in the light. And he's starting to look like we might be going to ourselves a uh, game three and it's kind of fun. Starting to build up, still, still find that pressure at the ledge, but here he goes. He's able to jump over, only to be met by that down tilt, catching his roll, almost getting himself a jab and a side B finish. Not being able to do so just yet as he isn't able to time it in order to connect that last couple of hits. With their jab in the back here to tie up the stock count once again, and here we are yet again, last off situation. Ronald hits you with jab. If Ronald just somehow hits you with jab, he's gonna find a way to connect that back air. He's he can hit it differently in multiple different ways. He doesn't know he's very well practiced when it comes to uh, Roy's win conditions. Yeah, uh, Ronald's being, you know, a lot more reserved than you might expect uh, whenever you're playing against a character with as many kill options as Roy has. Um, but unfortunately, their poise play was no match for the sheer advantage that Frost had given himself uh, during the course of this match. I Again, it's, it's a steep mountain to climb at any situation whenever there's a percentage of this difference. But honestly, the composure was all there. I feel like if we see Ronald in the deficit again, he might yield better results, but Frost just had too much of a lead that late in the game. That's right, and not letting go of that lead from the beginning, and he was able to just keep putting pressure on, not let Ronald get comfortable at ledge till he was able to find that opening to get that up there to kill. And now we're at Battlefield when it comes down to game three. Yeah, already still getting started here on game three. I think, th is this our first uh, tri-class that we've seen today? It's the first one I've seen. That's the first one you've seen, but we did see Yoshi's a little bit earlier today. Oh, okay, very good to see. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we did see of, Battlefield 2. Okay, yeah. a little bit of Battlefield 2, that's what's up. Alright, so here we are getting a parry on that jab. I mean, hey, good call out as well on the roll. Not quite going to be getting close enough to close out that stock just yet. But pretty devastating read nonetheless. Kind of shows how much these two have learned about each other in this short amount of time. That is true, a little late to the punch there with that ledge trump. Ronald not going to be able to get it. Cross gets a second win. Let's see if he can take the lead with this. It's trapping me yeah, but he has a... He has him at the ledge, as you were saying, Toad. Yeah, he, he, he not going to hold it at the center. Uh, playing a little bit brazen off stage there, I'd say, for Frost. And he's going to be losing that stock early. And this is a match, uh, as evidence of game number two, that you don't want to go down in this badly. So Frost doing this, take that stock right quick. Yeah, just close it out right quick, take it straight back to a tie, two stocks per piece here. And you can see that, I mean, already we got Frost building up a lot of percent, stealing a jump, not even to Ronald's own knowledge, and now he's going to be losing a stock as, uh, as a little bit of a consequence for that. Game three, and that's a little bit of a bad position to put yourself in this late in the match. It is true, Ronald definitely has work cut out for him. He's gonna need to bring this back as Frost just keeps piling on the damage. It seems like he's intent on keeping this lead, making sure that he takes the most as he can off of that as the or out of taking off that, uh, taking Ronald to jump, which as you said, he wasn't aware about. This is looking very Game 2-esque in the uh, percentage situation right now, but this time Frost has even more of a lead, and I think it's all his momentum. He's gonna be able to... Uh, Ball too far though. Again, another brazen offstage scenario where Frost is losing their stock. Honestly, I, I feel like he's just not respecting Ronald at all. And uh, now Ronald has a big chance to come back in because this is Rage Roy. So yes, those cover right. birds are going to be a lot more deadly a lot earlier. That's right. Yeah, Gets the noodle hit though. It's not going to really yield anything from that up air. Exactly, man. Roy with Rage is super dangerous. So yeah, right away, Frost is going to be putting Ronald straight into that loser's. Not running the risk of taking that uh, elevator, but you know what? My respect to Ronald, though, he definitely managed to run that uh, set very 